Well, we are in the Plaza Mayor de Lima. Um, we're in the main plaza, and this is the presidential palace. No, that's the White House. Uh, and the White House, what would be the equivalent of the White House, is right over there. And we're going to walk around and inside the cathedral and explore a little bit. So. This is the presidential palace there with the guards at the front. It does have some class, as you'll see. They're very well dressed. I can't say though, that ceremonial honor, but I don't know, wouldn't that get a little boring after a while standing there? Maybe a little hot during certain times of the year. I think what I'm just saying is... Oh. Call the guard. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> they said that, uh, as, as in uh, England, they do a traditional changing of the guard. Um, I forget the time period, but they do a traditional changing of the guard. Probably around noon. Probably around noon. So, pretty neat. If you want to take pictures, you know, at a church, that's okay. But please, just turn off the flash. Mm. Now, this is the second largest cathedral in Latin America because the first one is located in Mexico City. And as I told you before, it was begun in 1535. But for that problem that we have in Peru, you know, the earthquakes, it was rebuilt, you know, many times. This is actually the third cathedral from the foundation of the city. This Lima was founded the same year when the cathedral was begun in 1535. Now, the He was in Peru two times in 1985 and 1988. This memorial here is very important and so important for us because we can find the remains of the founders of the city right here. Now, he's a very controversial person because for many people, you know, people think to him that he was the one that founded our city, but there are some other people that think that Pizarro's body shouldn't be here in this church because he was the one that started the massacre in the Empire. You know, during the Spanish colonial days, there were about 3 million people that died with different uh, consequences, you know, diseases, the Spanish brought some diseases that were unknown in South America. So, how do, that's you're saying that even today, they quite yeah. resolve this. Yes, they, people still have feelings, yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. Yes. But, um, Here inside the church, he said that uh, each of these pillars is made out of wood, including the ceiling, which you can't necessarily tell, but it is to withstand earthquakes. Yes, and he was saying that the uh, windows, the um, stained glass windows, are not original because they were bombed by a terrorist group, and so they've been replaced. Okay, we are in Starbucks in Lima, Peru. Uh, we just got done with our tour and I thought I would show you around a Starbucks in Lima. I thought this was a really cool display. Green beans and different levels of roast. Very, very cool. Wait me. Okay, now. 
helado alto con leche cremada. Get the café peruano. Starbucks Peruvian coffee. Los cuatro fundamentos. Here at Hai Ti or Hai Ti restaurant here in uh, downtown Lima, and uh, this is ceviche de trucha, which is a trout ceviche that Barbara is trying right now. I didn't really want the onion. Oh well. What are your comments on ceviche de trucha? Well, like trout in the general, it's not a very fishy fish. A lot of spice, you can taste the cilantro and the onion. It's very good. It's very good. It's very lemony, um, very uh, salty, but uh, most of the salt I think comes from the lime and the other things that they're putting with it. So, waiting on the rest of our food. Very good. We're in one other Starbucks here in Lima. And uh, we're anxiously awaiting the consumption of a tres leches. Of course, we don't have uh, in the U.S. What what is your what are your comments on this situation? Can I eat it? Uh, yeah, I think you can eat it. One other thing I've noticed: they do have a lot of cushy furniture. You'll notice in the cafe, and uh, also very nice patio furniture. Yeah. We, we could learn a lot from that. We There's could. We could learn a lot. Learn a lot. Do a little tour here. One disappointing thing about the uh, Starbucks here uh, and the other Starbucks that we went to is uh, neither one of them offer uh, discounts. The uh, employee Except discounts. Manager. Unless you're a manager. Yeah, unless you're a manager, that's what Daniel was telling us, is only managers get the discounts, so, unfortunate. Howard Schultz ought to be notified. He ought to be, he ought to be. I'm not even sure they would give him a discount, but that's just, you know, me. Okay. Uh, we're in the, uh, one of the parks here in Lima. Uh, I don't know the name of this particular park, um, but it's, it's down over here, uh, between Miraflores and uh, San Isidro and we just got done uh, eating again at the Starbucks and so we're just walking through this park very pretty area there are a lot of people out it's about 9 15 there's a lot of people out walking dog walking themselves themselves like there's a there's a cathedral right over here let me Give you a little look at this large area. Let's see the name of this cathedral. Parroquia La Virgen Milagrosa. There's the uh, services there if you all wanted to attend. And so we're just going to walk our way back to our hotel. Cool little fountain to the left. Yeah, very pretty little fountain. We've got a long walk back and then uh, we got to get ready for the morning.